What's up guys and welcome to today's updated legend review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new addition to FIFA 16. Obviously it is the end of the game, um, but he is one of the newer legends on FIFA and that is the Northern Ireland legend George Best. One of the best dribblers known for his technique and skills. This guy was a legend and is on FIFA. Now guys, last time I gave him a 9.6 out of 10, so you will see later in the video whether I have upgraded his rating or downgraded him. Let's go ahead now and take a look at his face card stats, and I'll get into the highlights and the pros and cons after that. George Best has 90 pace, 89 shooting, 81 passing, 94 dribbling, 59 defense, and 68 physical. As you guys can see right there, I did score 8 goals and had 2 assists in the six games I played with him, which is two goals more than last time. So we will see if I do upgrade him. Let's go ahead and take a look at those highlights right now. So we're now going to go ahead, guys, take a look at some highlights, get right into the pros and cons for the legend George Best. As you guys will see throughout the highlights, I did come close to some pretty amazing goals with him, and he definitely could have scored more than eight goals, but this is what you got. A nice little assist from George Best there. The best thing about Best, <laughs> punny kind of actually, um, is his dribbling and his control. In my opinion, guys, he has the best control in FIFA and other other YouTubers will vouch that George Best is probably one of the better legends you're going to want to play with on this game and he's great he's a great addition excuse me to FIFA 16 and I hope he is also on FIFA 17 absolute banger right there wish that one would have went in that was just disgusting but guys like I said his dribbling and his control is what makes him so good he's also pacey and he also has a very nice shot on him not to mention he also has four star skill moves and a four star weak foot in my opinion even though his card is a I think it's a right winger card um, I like him at right forward I definitely wouldn't want to put him at right mid just because he's just too dangerous up top so if you can get your hands on him for a price of about 650k, I would definitely try and do so before the end of this FIFA just to give him a go. Like I said, guys, best control in the game. He has good pace, good shooting, good weak foot, good skill moves, just control. Overall control of the ball is what makes George Best so good. I wish his uh, work rates were a little bit more attacking minded. They are medium medium which is kind of fits a winger slash midfielder role but like I said I like him at the right forward so I wish he maybe had a high medium work rate. We're now going to go ahead and take a look at the first summary here guys. 9.6 out of 10 is what I gave him last time. Six goals in six games um, and two assists in the first time through. Second time round eight goals and two assists in the sixth game through. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my updated review 9.8 out of 10 same stats obviously there the conclusion guys has the best control in FIFA 16 as you've heard me say over and over again in this video if you can pick him up I definitely would recommend it uh, FIFA 16 guys is unfortunately kind of coming to an end I will be still doing some updated legend reviews but they will not be coming out as frequently I am going to get into some Madden as soon as that game comes out, maybe even some Ultimate Team. I definitely want to expand my channel. So let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments down below. As always, feedback is appreciated. If you guys are feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.